beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesties above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy God with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. This day we are gathered to celebrate the achievements and the new beginnings of the class of 2012. Students once new to Illinois Wesleyan's ways of wisdom and inquiry are now seasoned women and men called to take their education and experiences into the world, for the world, and for our common good. In our time when fears threaten to divide and anxieties to overwhelm, may these graduates summon what Paul Tillich called the courage to be. To be voices of creativity and compassion, courageous voices of generosity and justice, all the while trusting that we are always with them. You may be seated. Good afternoon and congratulations to the class of 2012. Let's hear it. I'm pleased to welcome you on behalf of the faculty and staff of Illinois Wesleyan to this, our 162nd commencement ceremony. Now, I'm going to deviate from my script for just a moment and speak directly to those of you who attended the senior class dinner a few weeks ago. You'll understand when I say, I put my hands in the air because this class will be dynamite forever in my mind. As president of the university, I frequently have the opportunity to listen to wonderful performances by faculty and students from the School of Music. Today, that talent is on display for all of us. I'd like, to join, I'd like to ask that you join me in thanking Stefan Riley for leading us in singing America the Beautiful. We've all been privileged to listen to Stefan perform a number of times over the last four years, and we're grateful for the richness of voice and spirit that he has brought to Illinois Wesleyan. I also want to thank Professor Eggleston and members of the Wind Ensemble for once again sharing their talents with us this afternoon. Thank you all very, very much. Four years ago, the class of 2012 arrived in Bloomington with a heightened sense of exhilaration, anticipation, and anxiety. I suspect that those of you who joined this class as transfer students will recall the same emotions 
during your first weeks in college. The irony of all of this is that today is yet another transition in your life, once again fueled by a mixture of exhilaration, anticipation, and anxiety. And while this day and ceremony properly focus on you as graduates, I hope you do not lose sight of the fact that you did not make this journey alone. It's only appropriate that we take a moment to thank those who helped you along the way. I would invite you to please stand at this time and turn to the faculty who are seated right behind you and give them a round of applause and thanks. And if you don't mind, while you're standing, turn in the direction of your parents and relatives and friends who are here and celebrate them too. Thank you and be seated. This commencement celebrates and honors you for what you've accomplished at one of the finest liberal arts colleges in the country. And we've been pleased to be part of that experience with you. We gather to celebrate the potential you represent and the contributions that we know all of you will make in the future. I sincerely hope that you will remain loyal to Illinois Wesleyan and join more than 20,000 alumni who can, who can be found doing great things all across this country and around the world. Now, some of you may have noticed this concrete pineapple sitting on the stage. Four years ago, the class of 2008 presented my wife and me with a concrete pineapple to replace a small wooden one that used to sit atop the entrance to the president's house. It turns out that 15 or 20 years ago, that concrete pineapple would disappear for a while, and then it would come back, and then it would disappear again, and then it would come back. Well, one time it disappeared and didn't come back. So we don't have the concrete pineapple above the, the door or the portal of the president's house, but we were pleased to receive this gift, and frankly, we've used it to start a new tradition at Illinois Wesleyan. As many of you know, the pineapple is often associated as the spirit of friendship and gracious hospitality. After you receive your diploma today, I invite all of the graduates to walk by the Titan pineapple and give it a tap. And I ask you to do that for two reasons. The first is to honor the friendships that you've made here. And the second is, as perhaps a reminder that you are always welcome here. This is one of Wesleyan's most enduring gifts. And now it is my privilege and honor to present the chair of the Board of Trustees at Wesleyan, George Vineyard, class of 1971. George. Thank you, Mr. President. Graduates, uh, parents, family members, faculty, staff, and friends of Illinois Wesleyan. Greetings from the trustees and the alumni. It's my privilege on their behalf to, to say to you, congratulations, welcome, and thank you. We congratulate each graduate for your individual achievements. We welcome you to the Fellowship of Illinois Wesleyan alumni. And we thank you for your contributions to the university community. To parents, friends, family, faculty, and staff, we share your pride in the accomplishments of these young men and women, and we join them in thanking you for all you've done to help them arrive at this auspicious day. Uh, the great physicist Richard Feynman said, when you get older, you find nearly everything is really interesting if you go into it deeply enough. Uh, this afternoon, we can test this proposition, uh, at least the getting older part. That is guaranteed to happen. Uh, as for deep thoughts, I'm going to limit myself to offering a couple of observations about our university motto, which is something you may or may not have given serious thought to, and I'll quote some words from what might, be, of what might be called wisdom from a writer who recently passed away. 
So I commend to your careful consideration the words that appear on the university seal, which was designed in 1866, that's 1866, by the great John Wesley Powell and another less famous faculty member. The Latin phrase scientia et sapientia is generally translated as knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge suggests the acquisition of true information and understanding grounded in objective observation and logical reasoning. Wisdom has been defined as the capacity to exercise sound judgment and act rightly in matters of life and conduct, choosing proper means to achieve good ends. This suggests something that goes far beyond the search for objective truth and reaches deeper into the realm of what it means to be a part of humanity in all of its historical, social, aesthetic, moral, and spiritual dimensions. It's my fervent hope and confident expectation that you're going forth from here well prepared, both intellectually and morally, to fulfill all the aspirations reflected in our motto. But while it's easy to exhort you to be seekers of knowledge and wisdom, I won't presume to suggest I know how you should go about it. I will only share my personal suspicion that part of achieving wisdom may involve learning to identify and appreciate, which is to say laugh at, absurdity and cosmic irony wherever you find it. In this regard, our world today may be considered a target-rich environment. Which brings me to the quotation. Peter Bergman, who died last month, studied economics and drama at Yale University and was one of the founding geniuses of the Firesign Theater comedy troupe, whose satirical recordings included titles like, I think we are all bozos on this bus, Give Me Immortality or Give Me Death, and more recently, Boom Dot Bust. And, he, and these fellows inspired something like a cult following starting in the 1960s and continuing through to the turn of this century. In his final Radio Oz podcast, Bergman said, Take heart, dear friends. We are passing through the darkening of the light. We're going to make it, and we're going to make it together. Don't get ground down by cynicism. The flag has been waved. It says occupy. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy the banks. Occupy the nursing homes. Occupy Congress. But most important, occupy yourself. Peter Bergman understood better than most that in order to make sense of the world, as often as not, you have to deal with nonsense. So in conclusion, as you pursue your life's goals and grow wiser, we ask that you remember and honor your university and your fellow alumni. We hope you will continue to think of this community as your extended family and as your home. We bid you farewell as students and welcome you home as alumni. We invite you to return to your university often, whether in person or in spirit. As the president said, you will always be welcome here and any place where titans gather. Thank you. Four years ago, we stepped onto the Illinois Wesleyan campus as fledgling first years. Although we had no idea what to do, we knew what to do. Set the alarm, don't hit the snooze button a third time, attend classes, pass classes, make friends, realize that biology wasn't our forte, drop biology and change majors, pass different classes, get involved and take advantage of every opportunity. Throughout our college careers, we learned about forming our own social groups while remaining wary of friending mysterious people like Amber Brown. We played sports, and excelled enough to win a handful of championships. It turns out that this athletic training came in handy when we had to learn how to juggle four plates at a time when the cafeteria went traitless. We learned about love and equality from Zach Walls, about the power of sympathetic imagination from Jory Graham, and about social justice from Sister Helen Prejean, and we learned how to bust a move from President Wilson. <laughs> During our time here, we have been challenged. Challenged to discover greener chemical compounds, to run competitive businesses using simulations, to compose the perfect piece of literature, to analyze Alexis de Tocqueville's political theory, and to learn how to spell Alexis de Tocqueville. We've even created challenges for ourselves, pursuing research honors and presenting at the John Wesley Powell Conference. We became tutors and lab assistants, mentors and team captains, leaders in Greek life, and student senators. And it's a good thing that we did all of this. As a result, we are better for it. We're smarter, wiser, more fit. In short, we're now exceedingly well prepared for the zombie apocalypse. Why do I say that? Well, 
Professor Weiss offered me $5 if I mentioned the zombie apocalypse during my speech. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Professor Weiss, I accept cash or check. <laughs> For the record, I'm pretty sure that the zombie apocalypse will not happen anytime soon, but that's not to say that the past years, four years, have been easy. In many ways, they've been difficult. Globally, natural disasters have shaken whole countries. Nationally, we've monitored the economy with bated breath, and closer to home, we've faced the loss of colleagues and friends. But during our time at Illinois Wesleyan, we've been equipped to engage such events. We've been prepared intellectually by being exposed to new ideas. From music theory to game theory to political theory, general education has introduced us to multiple disciplines of learning. Our liberal arts education has expanded our knowledge repertoires in numerous and surprising ways. But our education didn't stop there. Inside and outside the classroom, Illinois Wesleyan emphasized social justice, sustainability, diversity, and as a result, we are enabled to navigate the future with aptitude, awareness, and compassion. From this foundation, we've been encouraged to make our own way. Our education became what we chose to make of it. We were encouraged to own our learning by conducting independent research, participating in student groups, and engaging the community. By hearing speakers with bold new voices like Sister Helen Prejean's, we begin to find our own voices. Here at Illinois Wesleyan, we've been granted a holistic education, one that has deeply informed us and also empowered us to, in the words of Minor Myers, do both well and good. Such an education is a rare gift, so a simple and earnest thank you is deserved. After all, most of the members of the class of 2012, and myself included, could not have gotten this far without our families, professors, and support networks. The education that you have helped us obtain has and will continue to shape who we are. My fellow classmates, enjoy this well-deserved celebration, and in the future, take your personal transformation out into the world to contribute, with knowledge and wisdom, to the world's transformation. Congratulations, and the best of luck to my class of 2012. Good afternoon, and congratulations for getting to this day. I'm touched by your recognition, although you know winning this award while on sabbatical has been a bit odd. Uh, <laughs> I suppose that one interpretation is that you're trying to tell President Wilson that he should give me more time to read and write and, and think. Hmm? Uh, I'll try not to interpret this uh, as a case of you telling me that you like me to be several blocks that way. <laughs> In any case, thank you. I've been asked to be brief, so I'll get right to it. For each of you, being here today is somewhat improbable. As biologists will tell you from your very beginning, one half of your biological material started out as one of something like 250 million sperm. Why that one? Completely improbable. Many of you went on to enjoy being raised in families with higher than average income, education, opportunity, and perhaps determination to help you get into a place like Illinois Wesleyan. Again, a somewhat improbable accident of birth. From there, your probabilities improved and you came to occupy a seat here, along with the 85% of your entering class that has reached graduation. This achievement was perhaps less improbable, given your motivation to stop paying tuition bills, and also your courage and creativity. My friends, courage and creativity are important parts of what has made the improbable more probable. Of course, there's still that accident of birth thing. Um, I firmly believe that the courageous habit of thinking big accounts for uh, uh, the difference, the large part of the difference between college graduates who merely survive versus those who change the world. Up to now, your families and teachers have gone out of their ways to provide you with opportunities. From here on out, however, opportunity probably will knock on your door a lot less. From here on out, it's going to be up to you to make your own opportunities and to have the courage and creativity to do big things with them. 
tell yourself that you can lead your basketball team to a national championship, like Amy Burton, Brittany Hasselbring, Olivia Lett, and Karen Solari. Swing for the fences like Hank Aaron, or Albert Pujols, if you're not sure who Hank Aaron is. <laughs> and borrowing from the 13th century Persian thinker Rumi, start a large foolish project like Noah and his ark. Now, most of you have the intellectual and emotional wherewithal to wander into viable careers without too much drama, but if you're really going to make a difference, and many of you will, you will need to muster the courage and creativity to think big on a regular basis. This great recession may be a minor hindrance, but a lack of courage and creativity will be lethal to the highest ambitions that you have allowed yourself to consider. As you know, the world is full of really difficult problems. When it comes to think developing big solutions, there will be no shortage of people and situations that tell you that it can't be done. I think that's counterproductive thinking, and I think that somewhere inside each one of you, you know that too. Improbabilities are largely what you make of them, and because I believe this, the late poet Shel Silverstein gets the last word. His poem is titled, Listen, Listen to the Mustn'ts. Listen to the mustn'ts, child. Listen to the don'ts. Listen to the shouldn'ts, the impossibles, the won'ts. Listen to the never haves, then listen close to me. Anything can happen, child. Anything can be. There is a long tradition in higher education of appointing faculty members to endowed professorships and chairs. At Illinois Wesleyan, this honor is reserved for members of the faculty who have distinguished themselves through exemplary teaching and active engagement of students, through outstanding scholarship and or artistic achievement, and through service at the very highest levels. The guiding principle in awarding an endowed professorship or chair is that the individual represents our highest aspirations for faculty members on this campus. Several of our current endowed professors or chairs are in attendance today, and I would ask that they stand and remain standing as their names are called. Professor Robert C. Prey, Bray, the R. Forrest Caldwell Chair of English. Michael C. Seaborg, the Robert S. Eckley Professor of Economics. Marina Ballina, the Isaac Funk Professor. Carol Miskowski, the McVie Professorship of Religion. And Given Harper, the George C. and Ella Beach Lewis Chair of Biology. Please join me in congratulating these people. Today, we have the special opportunity to recognize David Veo, who is the newest endowed professor on campus and will be appointed to the Scherf Professorship in Music. Professor Veo will receive an engraved medallion, which can be worn with his academic regalia, to signify the honor he has received in our community. David J. Veo, please step forward. Professor Veo has been appointed to the Fern Rosetta Scherf Professorship of Music, which was established in 1977 to honor Mrs. Scherf as a concert singer and pianist. Within the university's School of Music, Dr. Veo serves as professor of composition and theory, head of the composition department, and coordinator of new music activities. A faculty member since 1991, he has compiled an impressive record of creative work that has been recognized with the Guggenheim Fellowship, a commission from the Kusevitsky Music Foundation in the Library of Congress, and over 20 consecutive ASCAP Standard Panel Awards. Since joining the Illinois Wesleyan faculty, Dr. Veo has completed 47 compositions and more than 400 performances and broadcasts of his music have been heard around the world. 
As a teacher, Professor Veo's primary focus is to help talented young people to write effective music in a divergent spectrum, from orchestra and chamber to jazz, music, theater, film, and electronic dance. He has overseen two major revisions of the curriculum for the Bachelor of Music degree in composition, and has also served at the university as chair of the Faculty Development Committee, the John Wesley Powell Research Conference, the Latin American Studies Team, and on the Academic Appeals Board. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, it is my honor and privilege to appoint David J. Veo to the Fern Rosetta Professorship in Music and to present this medallion as a sign of distinction and honor in our community. now move to commencement honors. Distinguished academic achievement is recognized in a variety of ways at Illinois Wesleyan. I refer you now to the commencement booklet for the graduation honors described on page three. Cumulative academic distinction is noted by the awarding of the Latin honors summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. The honor appears in the program with the graduate's name listed after their major field of study, and will be announced individually when their, pro when their diplomas are presented. We commend these students for outstanding scholarly performance over the course of their years at Illinois Wesleyan. The program also identifies graduates who have met the rigorous academic standards of Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi, and were thereby elected to membership in these national honor societies as noted by the symbols after their names. 34 students are graduating with research honors, awarded for their projects of original research under the guidance of a faculty member. Please see the titles of their defended work, of their defended works, which are listed on pages four and five. I now ask that all students who have achieved cumulative academic distinction who have been elected to membership in Phi Beta Kappa or Phi, ba Phi Kappa Phi, and who are graduating with research honors, to please stand at this time and be recognized. Each year at this ceremony, we announce the nominees and recipients of 14 special commencement honors, which are listed also on page three of the program. I ask that those being introduced to please stand as I read your names, and please remain standing until all of the awardees have been announced. Three individuals have been nominated for the Hope Ellen Pape President's Club Award in the Fine Arts. They are Michelle M. Pappas from the School of Art, Audra Ives Loveland from the School of Music, and Amanda Shea Williams from the School of Theater Arts. The recipient this year is Audra Ives Loveland. I will ask the three to please remain standing. The Annabelle Scroggin Anderson Award is given to Carolyn Dennison Roloff. I'm going to suggest that we hold our applause until we've announced all of the award recipients. The John L. Clark Award in Literary Studies is presented to Allison Marie Sutton. Hooting is permitted. <laughs> the Nikki K. Pape President's Club Award for Excellence in Writing is given to Jacqueline Marie Connolly and to Kylie Louise Peters. 
The Professor David Bailey Prize in Chemistry is awarded to Aaron A. Moore. The Harold C. Hodges President's Club Award in Natural Sciences and Mathematics is presented to Matthew Ronald Bachman. The Donald, Air, Donald R. Kane Memorial Award is given to Amy Christine Fairgreave. The Robert S. Eckley President's Club Award in Social Science is awarded to Lauren Davis Contorno. The Carolyn F. Rupert Nursing Award is presented to Kelly Ann Cantlin. The Catherine Reidelbach Baker Music Award is given to Chen Fan Zhang. The Hester Merwin Ayers Art Achievement Award is presented to Amber Marie Sipich. The William T. Beatles Award for Exceptional Achievement in Business Administration is awarded to Jasmine Nicole Becker. The Jack C. Field Prize for Excellence in Accounting is given to Aaron M. Brown. The Larry Shue Drama Award is presented to Joshua Walter Congrat. Please join me in, a, in, a, in recognizing all of these awards. An honorary degree is one of the most cherished and significant recognitions that a university can award. This tradition in higher education reflects a desire to recognize those who have distinguished themselves personally and professionally and whose lives demonstrate a commitment to values consistent with the mission of the university. Each fall, I invite nominations from the faculty, from students, and from staff and trustees. All nominations are reviewed by the Honorary Degrees Committee and approved by the Board of Trustees. I am delighted to announce today that our honoree this year is Awadajan Pratt, and I ask that he now stand. As you read about Awadajan Pratt on page two in your program, it is clear why he is celebrated as a virtuoso. His extraordinary talent was re recognized very early in his career. He won the prestigious Nomberg Prize in piano when he was 26, and two years later was awarded the Avery Fisher Career Grant, an honor limited to no more than five artists a year. Five years later, Piano and Keyboard Magazine named him one of the 59 top pianist of the 20th century. During his extraordinary career, Awadajan has performed with major orchestras and symphonies all across the country, from New York to Los Angeles and around the globe, from Japan to South Africa. He is also an experienced mu music teacher and conductor and has released seven album albums, including my personal favorite, a long way from normal. <laughs> As you might have guessed, the interesting part of this story is that Awadajan Pratt grew up in Bloomington Normal and has been a frequent visitor to Illinois Westland. His commitment to the community and to the university is reflected in the many ways he supports the local Pratt Music Foundation, an organization that provides scholarships for deserving young people interested in receiving classical music training and instruction in the IWU Music Preparatory Program. His interest in these students resulted in 12 of them being invited to the White House in 2009 when he was asked to perform in First Lady Michelle Obama's music series. Awadajan, your artistically vibrant career and the example you lift up to others reflect values important to this university expanding horizons, cultivating individual talent, and working for the good of the local and global community. We are honored that you will address our graduates today and are pleased to recognize you as a most worthy recipient of an honorary degree from Illinois Wesleyan. I would ask that Awadajan Pratt please step forward.
Awadajan Pratt, a native of Pittsburgh who soon made his home in Normal, Illinois, matriculating at the University of Illinois at age 16, and the first student to receive diplomas in three performance areas at the Peabody Music Conservatory of the Johns Hopkins University. A renowned classical pianist who brings spirit and passion to his music, creating an intensely vibrant and exciting experience for audiences throughout the world. We welcome you as a longtime friend of Illinois Wesleyan, where you have attended music camps, performed on national television with the Civic Orchestra, and presented unforgettable recitals as benefactor for your beloved Pratt Music Foundation. It is therefore with joyous appreciation for your artistry and admiration for the inspiration and support you provide to young musicians that we honor you and your life's work. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Illinois Wesleyan University, I hereby confer upon you, Awadajan Pratt, the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Hello, I had to get the iPad set up here. And a warm thank you to the Illinois Wesleyan family, to the community of Bloomington Normal, and congratulations to the class of 2012. My parents earned doctorates. My sister went on to get something like nine degrees, culminating in a doctorate. And I've been the low man on the totem pole in my family. And I've been waiting for this for decades now. In fact, since I only have certificates, I would have been happy with an honorary bachelorate. <laughs> now not only do I get a doctorate, I get an honorary, which can be shortened to H-O-N, so I'll make sure that someone in my lessons refers to me as the honorable Dr. Pratt presiding. <laughs> this is a great honor, and whereas some complain that they are recognized and celebrated everywhere but at home, I remain grateful for always having been recognized here at home. Though our family lived in Normal, and my sister and I practiced often on the tennis courts at Illinois State University, and our music teachers in our teen years were from Illinois State University, many of our musical achievements were here on this campus. Every year we came for the National Foundation of Music Club's evaluations, we performed a joint recital here as young teenagers, and we also came to the Illinois Wesleyan Music Camps. So it has been natural that our family foundation, with the support and advocacy of former President Minor Myers, and currently with President Wilson, has been housed and curated under the auspices of this campus. Our family and the Pratt Foundation Board have been blessed by this arrangement. I had many thoughts about what was material and interesting to talk about today. There's an expression about composers, good composers borrow, and great composers steal. As such, my first thoughts drifted to two inspiring commencement addresses that I had read as a student, one by the famous concert pianist Glenn Gould, the other by the famous composer, conductor, and educator Leonard Bernstein. My next thoughts were then born of necessity, Susan Bassey saying, we've got a deadline on the title of your talk. Do you have a working title? I thought, well, that's it, working title. It was part jest, but then I realized, well, there's some truth to this. What your graduates are about to be presented with here is a working title. My certificates are in piano, violin, and conducting. I'm a concert pianist and a professor. However, I am or have been as well a mentor, a fundraiser, a festival creator, a festival organizer, the artistic director of a festival, a collaborator, and an adjudicator. Each of those things, though peripherally related to a degree in piano, requires a different skill set. I also thought of one of my good friends who has a master's in chemical engineering, 
who became a vice president at Procter & Gamble in charge of research and development for Crest and Gillette, and now is an upper level muckety-muck at Estee Lauder. His career has been peripherally related to chemistry, but his professionally developed skill set has nothing to do with his degrees. He is now, and has been for the bulk of his career, a businessman and an innovator. So I was going to talk to you about that sort of thing. I have also been fascinated by the developing studies of the brain and learning, and the findings and studies demonstrating that a thing called talent does not exist. This is something I firmly believe in and will discuss a bit later. In preparation for that part, though, I was doing a lot of reading, then burrowing further down the wormhole of how do I start to talk about this, and then I realized something one of my good friends said, who's a writer, the first novel you write, you write what you know, and what you know is yourself. So assuming I know myself, here we go. I'm guessing and hoping that some of you will leave here and start a job this year. Some of you will leave here and continue your education. Some of you will look at your degree and think, what am I ever going to do with this thing? <laughs> I think all three groups and those as I've not included need to leave here, look at your degree for a bit, congratulate yourself on your accomplishment, and then put it in a box. Then I ask you to be brave enough to cast aside the concerns of your parents, your teachers, the impending doom of student loan payments, and ask yourself, what do I love to do? To read about, to hear about, to think about? Do I love putting things together, taking things apart? Floors, communication, washer dryers, vacuum cleaners? Do I have a notepad filled with ideas and inventions? Do I have a ton of what ifs, whether about yourself or about the nature of things? I ask you to know that thing that you love, whether it's a verb or a noun. I absolutely believe that every one of us has that thing we can't do without, the thing that we have to be engaged in every day. For me, that was music. There are a lot of things I was involved in during my teenage years, from spelling bees, essay writing, to our rhetorical society, and tennis. For me, if I didn't have one of those things or the quadratic equation or formula in my day, I would be okay. If music wasn't in my day, I would not be okay. Somehow, many people manage in their lives daily without being able to give homage to that thing. They put it away in their overstuffed drawer of dreams, which may seem like a safe place. But I believe it was Nelson Mandela who said, you must honor that which is within you, the gifts you have, and release them. Otherwise, it will be those things which remain inside you and kill you. So what's required here after the bravery of identification are the first of my two eyes, which come in pairs. Inspiration, imagination. You must imagine either what you know is out there as a career and yourself doing it, or imagine doing that thing which you love, which doesn't have a place in your life and find a way to its possibility. Glenn Gould talked about the difference between what we know is proven, which he called positivity, and what we do not know, which is called negativity, and how much more there is in our collective humanity of the latter than the former. How small the frame is within which we construct and imagine our lives relative to that which is unknown and untested. We have to, in our minds, constantly dip into the latter, the great unknowns and unproven's, as a resource for reaching our dreams. Keep your curiosity that got you here in the first place. My friend at Estee Lauder refers to innovation. In your every job, be alert to the opportunities that lend themselves to your other strength innovation, whether that means you're good at working with people or transforming or developing ideas. Importantly, in this phase, and I second Professor Shaw here, let no one tell you what's not possible. I was constantly told from the age of 16 to 23 by those who are my mentors, those who are my friends and my enemies, those who are neither, you can't play two instruments and play them both well. You'll be mediocre at both. Stop at once. When are you going to stop? In my mind, I said, you advisees are not me. Your limitations for yourself, whether past, present, or future, are not mine, nor are they my responsibility. I do not need to stop believing in myself to make you feel validated about your decision to have not taken the road less traveled by. I made the decision to stop training on the violin at 23, 
after having had one lesson a week per instrument in music school for roughly seven years about how music is put together. This meant roughly 420 hours of individual lessons versus 210 for my paralytically mono-instrumented colleagues. Added to this would be double the chamber music hours and also three years of conducting lessons and classes. So at that point, having acquired at least twice as much cumulative knowledge musically as my colleagues, I made the decision to focus on piano. The next two eyes, shall we say, are intertwined. Investment and intensity. The two most common things I hear after a concert or in a grocery store are, I wish my parents didn't let me stop playing the piano. And I practice a lot, but I didn't have it, or I didn't have talent. And then they say to me, you must have had it from a young age. These days, the reports of extensive research and study keep confirming what either it or talent is, and what it is, is love. So I would say to that person, you didn't love it, so your practice was incidental or accidental. Your aunt, sister, niece, nephew, grandma, neighbors, cousin. Thus, others decided she was talented. If you're really honest with yourself, and Richard Feynman, who's popular today, says yourself is the easiest person to fool, you'll admit that you didn't love it or the circumstances surrounding it. By circumstance, I mean that the quality of the teaching matters. It means that I know of only one person who is a concert pianist, one person who was wrapped on the back of the knuckles with a ruler by a nun often, who still plays the piano every day. So one has the imagination and inspiration and makes the investment in the time, and then it's the intensity and direction of the time spent that helps determine outcome. I will share with you my crucible moment. The letter from my former teacher, Robert Wyrick, which he wrote to me after a recital a few days before my 23rd birthday. You will hear his words about what talent he thought I had and what talent he thought I didn't. Keep in mind what I've described to you as how I spent my time accumulating musical knowledge. He had said to me that what he and other great artists recognized as my talent was, and I quote, an uncanny knack for projecting the piece as an integrated experience to the listener. The audience is aware of the whole at every moment, and so one sense of time and experience is altered by the music. I know of no higher satisfaction as either listener or performer. When that happens, you remember it your whole life. You can count on the fingers of, finger of one hand, the fingers of one hand, those who are able to do what you can do. So far, so good. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> then he says in the same paragraph, you have musical ideas that are more eccentric than innovative, and have a technique that gets in the way rather than facilitates. He goes on to talk about the musical idea issue and then hones in on the technique issue, and I quote again. And when I say the quality of the teaching matters, if you can imagine, since 1989, my teacher wrote this single-spaced letter with not a mistake on it uh, to me, which I've obviously kept over these years. He writes, the technical thing is simpler, but probably a bigger problem. You would never enter the Indianapolis 500 with a 30-year-old rusted-out Volkswagen, but that's essentially what you are trying to do. You may be very attached to that car, but you simply can't win in that race. You need something with more power, more consistency, more agility, more control. In my opinion, dealing with this problem has to be our highest priority. Your technique has improved over the last three years, but it needs to go much further. I think you have always wanted to, to dwell on musical issues and felt that technical work is somehow unmusical. Well, a musically hampered performance, a technically hampered performance, even by a great musician, is also unmusical. Since you are now playing for keeps, a level is expected of you that goes beyond, my God, isn't he talented stage? You are now at the point that the quote could all too easily be, my God, why is someone that talented so technically ill-equipped? <laughs> there are reasons, of course, but none of them matter a bit when you don't win a competition. One reason is that you were too involved in many musical pursuits to do any of them as well as you could. Another reason is that the same genetic environmental pool that gave you your musical strengths also gave you a physical setup that is less of a gift. Another reason is your previous training. Another reason is thus far you haven't wanted to focus on technical matters. 
Another reason, again, for better or worse, is that I have not forced the issue. He goes on and on. <laughs> now, keep in mind that in my profession, uh, we love prodigies and the talented, and that in many ways, both read 20 years ago and today, I was over the hill at 23. Know that what he described as actions for me to undertake are things that my colleagues say, if you don't have that by the time you're 10, 11, or 12, and certainly by 16, you will never make it. So he continued to drive home the point by saying that if someone hears you under the age of 21, they'll say, what potential? Over the age of 21, what a waste. And he closed the potential quote brigade with, gee, that's too bad, he's so talented, but he still can't play the piano. So I, after feeling like I'd been hit in the chest, took the letter to heart. I refined and adjusted my investment. My investment until that point had been directed towards music in general. I now refined it to the piano. I then directed a great amount of intensity upon the service of my technique. When I was 25, I went on retreat to the BAMP Center in Canada for a three-month, very intensive period of independent study without a teacher, just thinking for hours at and away from the piano about how to practice, how to improve my technique, and I essentially developed my own system of achieving my musical pianistic goals as related to technique. Thirteen months after leaving BAMP and returning to the conservatory, I won Naumburg and started my career. Intensity is important. The 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration that Thomas Edison said was required is no joke. I sweat when I practice, I hum and sing to the point of hoarseness, my brain is completely drained at the end of my practice. I go again the next day and the next, and even when it appears the first day's work completely disappeared, I go on again and I go until it's all there. So perhaps it's a bit of a jumbled story, but I hope the message between Professor Shaw's succinct remarks and mine that are less so is clear. Find and be true to what's inside of you, to what inspires you and to what you imagine. Then be completely invested in it and intense in the pursuit of the realization of your dreams. William Yeats wrote powerful words which are unfortunately so often true in his poem, The Second Coming. He says, the best lack all conviction and the worst are full of passionate intensity. While I understand what Yeats meant, in my life I try to turn those damning words around. I ask you, the class of 2012, to live every day as, as I try to do. To be the best, however one defines it. To have all conviction and to be full of passionate intensity. And please, what I've left out here, and I'm sorry, but it's really important, in your passionate intensity, include having fun and loving and appreciating your family and friends and reaching out for those who do not have the opportunities you have. Congratulations again, and good luck. most deserving of an honorary degree from this university, don't you believe? Yes. Okay, we will now proceed to the awarding of degrees. First, in the School of Nursing, will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing please rise. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the School of Nursing, it is my pleasure to present to you those candidates who have completed all requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Illinois Wesleyan University, I thereby confer the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Will the candidates please come forward to receive their diplomas? Miad Saeed Abdul Rahman Mafazi. Kelsey Joe Adams. 
Edward Lewis Boyer III, cum laude. <laughs> Melissa Marie Bridges. <laughs> Nicole Ann Brown. <laughs> Kelly Ann Cantlin, cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Joanne Christie. Caitlin Marie Clark. Caitlin Marie DeMonbron. Marnie Sue Gebhardt, cum laude. Cassandra Lynn Glazier. Alyssa Rita Gergen. Bryce Madison Haynes. <laughs> Colleen Lynn Hennigan. Abigail Lynn Hookstra, magnum cum laude. Jennifer Christine Holthy. Joseph Fisher Howard. Stephanie Lynn Humbert. Thank you. Joseph Hunter Jacobus. Erica Kate Olson, Megan Elizabeth Pavich, Catherine Ray Racanelli, Carly Lynn Spidell, Valerie Lynn Steele. Benjamin Matthew Stirrett, Lisa Kiana Strack, Dana Marie Tomasetti, Elizabeth Catherine Towery, Lauren Mary Van Moffert, magna cum laude, and Alexandra Lee Weidengruber. We will now move to the College of Fine Arts. First, we will award degrees in the School of Art and the School of Theater Arts. Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Fine Arts please rise? Mr. President, it is my pleasure to present to you all candidates who have completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Fine Arts. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Illinois Wesleyan University, I thereby confer the degree Bachelor of Fine Arts. Will the candidates please come forward to receive their diplomas as their names are announced? Mr. President, candidates in the School of Art receiving the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in art. Miles Jappa. Katarina Kobrana, cum laude. Renee Shade. Amber Marie Sipich, magna cum laude. Sherry Strandberg, magna cum laude. Shen Shen Zhao.
for candidates in the School of Theater Arts receiving the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theater Arts, including acting, theater design and technology, and music theater. Kirsten M. Anderson, magna cum laude. Caitlin Michelle Borak. Blake Peters Brower. Blake Peters Brower. Joshua Walter. Joshua Walter Conrad. <laughs> Ian Pallon Coulter Buford. Caitlin Sullivan Francis. Samantha Iris Grant. Michael John Holding, cum laude. Crystal Bianca Martinez. Laura Martino. Chase Michael Miller, magna cum laude. Rosalind Marie Prickle, cum laude. Abigail Root. Caitlin Marie Schmidt. Peter James Studlow. Laura Christine Williams. In recognition of the completion of the degree requirements, the graduates may move their tassels to the left side of their mortar boards. We will now move to the School of Music. Will the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Music and Bachelor of Music Education please rise. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the School of Music, it is my pleasure to present those students who have successfully completed all requirements for the degrees Bachelor of Music and Bachelor of Music Education. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Illinois Wesleyan University, I thereby confer the degree Bachelor of Music and Bachelor of Music Education. Will the candidates please come forward to receive your diplomas? Melissa Mary Adamson. Maxwell David Briggs. <laughs> Rachel Ann Carreras, cum laude. Cassandra Rose Colonese, cum laude. Aaron Patricia Donegan, cum laude. Juan Camilo Hernandez. <laughs> Chinfan Jian, Pi Kappa, uh, Phi Kappa Phi and Summa Cum Laude. Scott D. Keegan. Kyle S. Lewis. Audra Ives Loveland. Megan Marie Malloy, cum laude. Amanda Mendez, magna cum laude. Joseph Benjamin Muriello, cum laude. Jordan Celeste Pettis. Hannah Rain Prestave. Stefan Mackenzie Riley. Matthew William Skibo. 
Rachel Ann West. Phi Kappa Phi, summa cum laude. Suzanne Elizabeth Whitney, cum laude. Melissa Kirsten Anderson. Sarah Marie Bencomo, Phi Kappa Phi, summa cum laude. Jacob Wayne Bezalen, cum laude. Stephanie M. Cesaroni. Drew Benjamin Elston. David Russell Getz, Phi Kappa Phi, summa cum laude. Stephanie Andrea Morelos, cum laude. Samuel Thomas Miller. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Osborne, cum laude. John Rick, Jonathan Frederick David Smith. Michelle Lynn Stanberry. Sarah Renee Strubing. Gretchen Marie Winland. Sarah Michelle Whitaker. Caitlin Elizabeth Zawaki. In recognition of the completion of the degree requirements, the graduates of the School of Music may move their tassels to the left side of their marble boards. We will now proceed to the awarding of the bachelor's degrees for the College of Liberal Arts. Will the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science please rise? Mr. President, it is my honor to present those candidates who have completed the requirements as defined by the faculty for the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Illinois Wesleyan University, I thereby confer the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Will the candidates please come forward to receive their diplomas? Jeremy Michael Adams, Accounting. Lauren Ann Alpert, Psychology Cum Laude. Lauren Allison Duchik, Biology Cum Laude. Robin Walter Basu, History and Hispanic Studies. Travis Joseph Bates, Art and English Literature. Lori Elizabeth Battern, Philosophy and Religion. Patricia Renee, Patricia Renee Bauman, Biology Cum Laude. <laughs> Kyle Andrew Beasley, Biology. <laughs> Jasmine Nicole Becker, Business Administration and Interdisciplinary Educational Studies, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Patrick Elliott Began, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Catherine Ann Bell, Educational Studies. Brooke Bernardoni, Brooke Bernardoni Biology. <laughs> Daniel Edward Betcher, Risk Management and History. Melissa Etling Bittner, Educational Studies. Galen Miles Black, History and Physics. <laughs> Curia Charnay Blake Knight, Philosophy. Joseph Edward Blum, Accounting Cum Laude. 
Matthew Ronald Bachman, Biology. Jessica Anais Bozik, English Writing, Cum Laude. Christopher A. Brady, Business Administration. Stephanie Moran Bro, International Studies, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Kathleen Gail Breisch, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Carly Joe Bridgewater, Business Administration. Daniel Fitzgerald Brinkmeyer, International Studies. Aaron M. Brown, Accounting, Phi Kappa Phi, Summa Cum Laude. Alan Bruce, Biology, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Dayton M. Burnett, Business Administration. Amy Elizabeth Burton, Psychology. Eric R. Bushong, Business Administration. Aaron Butler, International Studies and Hispanic Studies, Cum Laude. Megan May Calabrese, Business Administration. Sharon A. Cannon, Psychology. Brandon Walter Carey, Business Administration. Caitlin Elizabeth Carpenter, English Literature, Phi Kappa Phi, Summa Cum Laude. Dorian Javon Carter, Psychology. Jennifer Ann Seisel, International Studies, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Amy Pachi Chang, Risk Management. Michael T. Chow, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Brittany Suzanne Childs, Biology, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Hung Jun Choi, Mathematics, Cum Laude. Michael Christensen, Philosophy and History, Magna Cum Laude. Jeffrey M. Clayton, Accounting. Ashley Noel Clifford, Psychology. Daniel Adam Cochran, English Writing. Laura Marie Cohen, International Studies, French and Francophone Studies, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Liam T. Conlin, English Writing. William Patrick Conlon, Business Administration. Jacqueline Marie Connolly, English Writing, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Lauren Davis Contorno, Political Science, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Kimberly Marie Conway, English Writing. Courtney Danielle Konzelman, English Writing. Kelly M. Cook, Psychology, Cum Laude. Nicole Melissa Cooper, Accounting. Lauren Elizabeth Coles, History, Cum Laude. Ariel Nicole Kramer, Accounting. Jalyn Ashley Cross, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Rebecca Cruz, Mathematics and Hispanic Studies. Patrick John Cummings, Business Administration. Andrew Ray Cup, Accounting. Claire Elizabeth Current, Educational Studies. Diana Elise Swearance, American Studies and History. Jeffrey Chaika, Business Administration. Ashley Nicole Swarniak, Psychology. Patrick Michael Dahl, Physics. Ni El Dam, Business Administration and Mathematics, Cum Laude. Elizabeth Rachel Daniels, Anthropology and History, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Margaret Louise Dayhoff, Sociology. Sean Patrick Derrick, Business Administration. Marissa Lee DeWeese, Mathematics and Physics, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Mira R. DeBage, Economics. Jordan Lee Deal, Business Administration. William James Dillon. William James Dillon, Business Administration. Namdo, Business Administration. Elizabeth E. Dremel. Elizabeth E. Dremel, Biology. Lindsay Renee Drenner, Environmental Studies. 
Kelly Ann Drinkard, Business Administration. Joseph Holmes Driver. Joseph Holmes Driver, Business Administration. Justin A. Eddington, Accounting Cum Laude. Mary Alice Edwards, Mary Alice Edwards Educational Studies, Phi Kappa Phi, Summa Cum Laude. Caitlin Eskew, Educational Studies. Casey Gale Evans, English Writing. James Nicholas Fahey, Biology and Hispanic Studies, Cum Laude. Marky Lee Fairchild, Sociology, Cum Laude. Amy Christine Fairgreave, English Literature, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Matthew Connor Fagley, Art. Krista Marie Felton, Educational Studies, Cum Laude. Michael L. Fenger, Political Science. Tara M. Ferrari, Psychology. Kristen Ann Fields, English Writing, Cum Laude. Mary Elizabeth Fike, English Writing. Jonathan Scott Fine, Business Administration. Jocelyn L. Finley, International Studies. Michael Joseph Firth, Chemistry. Ryan James Fliss, History. Samantha K. Ford, Educational Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Michael Ross Fornero, History. Ronald Joseph Fowlgrider, Chemistry, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Megan L. Frankham, Theater Arts and History, Cum Laude. Casimir Michael Frankowitz, English Writing and Business Administration, Cum Laude. Kirsten Elizabeth Fredrickson, Educational Studies, Cum Laude. Hannah Lee Freeman, International Studies and Hispanic Studies, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Anne Kathleen Fritch, English Writing. Jennifer Catherine Fernaro, Biology. Laura Lynn Gaffey, Political Science, Hispanic Studies, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Kristen Joy Gattuso, Educational Studies and Hispanic Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Jordan Brooke Geiger, Psychology. Brianna Francesca Gade, Accounting and Hispanic Studies. Thomas Joseph Gilbert, History, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Francis Glaudel, English Literature and French and Francophone Studies. Kaylee Glazebrook, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Kelsey Lorraine Gleason, Biology and Hispanic Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Brittany Christine Goldman, Business Administration and Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Brittany Donata Gagno, Mathematics, Cum Laude. Eliud de Jesus Gonzalez, Business Administration. Timothy J. Gordon, History. Jessica A. Gorecki, English Literature and Educational Studies. Stephanie Nicole Gossman, Biology. Caitlin Margaret Graberitz, Biology. Antonio M. Gracias, Theater Arts. Amy Catherine Gradle, History, Magna Cum Laude. Claire Elizabeth Gradle, Sociology. Megan Elizabeth Grant, Psychology. Cindy Margaret Gregory, Biology, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Ryan Gresco, Business Administration. Hannah Griffin, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Rose Grinter, Psychology. Michael Thomas Gritani, Music. Jenna Josephine Guerrero, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Emily Elizabeth Gum, Sociology. Susan Therese Hager, Educational Studies and Music, Cum Laude. Sarah C. Halford, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Scott Jason Hamilton, Psychology. Christopher Ryan Hammer, Hispanic Studies, Cum Laude. Michael Gerard Hansen, Religion. 
Kelsey Ann Hansen, Accounting. Adam Todd Harrison, Psychology. Tyler Hartley, Business Administration. Sarah Beth Hartman, Neuropsychology, Magna Cum Laude. Jennifer Marie Haskey, Sociology and French and Francophone Studies, Cum Laude. Brittany Elizabeth Hasselbring, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Stacy Marie Hassinger, Chemistry. Nicole Marie Hayes, Business Administration. Stephen Paul Heyman, Mathematics, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Patrick Thomas Hain, Patrick Thomas Hain Business Administration. Dylan Heinzen, History and Business Administration. Eric Andrew Henderson, Biology. Casey Elizabeth Hennessy, Physics Cum Laude. Catherine Margaret Henning, Biology. Timothy J. Henry, International Studies and Hispanic Studies. Stephen Philip Hermes, French and Francophone Studies. Kristen Marie Herschelman, Chemistry, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Sydney Lisa Hertel, Psychology and English Literature. Matthew S. Hill, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. Katie Elizabeth Hinshaw, Hispanic Studies, Cum Laude. Tung Tan Huang, Economics and Business Administration. Samantha Lee Hogan. Samantha Lee Hogan, Psychology. Era Joanne Rose Holiday. Era Joanne Rose Holiday, Psychology and Sociology, Cum Laude. Mary Catherine Holm. Mary Catherine Holm, Theater Arts and Political Science, Cum Laude. Marissa Anya Hoover, Marissa Anya Hoover International Studies. Michael D. Horsch, Biology. Benjamin C. Hauk, Business Administration. Aaron Marie House, Hispanic Studies and Educational Studies, Cum Laude. Amanda Crane Hulse, Amanda Religion, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Trace Patrick Hummel, Sociology, Cum Laude. Rod Keem B. Jackson, Business Administration. Jenna Victoria Jamison, Educational Studies. William Corbin Jenkins, Business Administration. Gabrielle Khadiju Johnson, International Studies. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Johnson, History, Cum Laude. Kathleen Michelle, Kathleen Michelle Johnson, Hispanic Studies and Educational Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Kevin, Kevin R. Johnson, Business Administration. Maximilian Johnson. Maximilian R. Johnson, Business Administration. Claire Edge Jolliker, Philosophy, Cum Laude. Cassandra Lee Eneke Jordan. Cassandra Lee Eneke Jordan, Anthropology and Religion. Kevin W. Jun. Kevin W. Jun, Psychology. Brianna May Kasman. Brianna K May Kasman, Biology, Cum Laude. Courtney Anna Keenan, English Writing. Allison M. Keith, Political Science. Grace Anna Kelmer, Music and German, Magna Cum Laude. Kessel. Amanda Lynn Kessel, Biology, Cum Laude. Kessel. Lauren Keir, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Kyle Lawrence Killebrew, English Writing, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Zachary John Killebrew, English Writing, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Alexander Eugene Kim, Alexander Eugene Kim Environmental Studies. Stephen Michael Kirk. Stephen Michael Kirk, Biology. <laughs> Lauren Michelle Kanak, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Vadim Kogan, Biology, Cum Laude. Elizabeth Ann Kolosinski, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. 
John Francis Kozhnitsky, History, Cum Laude. Andy, Andy M. Kozlowski, History. Brianna Joan Kratz, English Writing, Cum Laude. Stephanie, Stephanie Catherine Krausen, Hispanic Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Samantha Jean Kruger, Educational Studies and French and Francophone Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Evgeny I. Kuzmin, Theater Arts and Economics. <laughs> Paul Taekwong Kwok, Accounting. <laughs> Samantha Lobbock, Philosophy. Natalie Jean Lalagos, Natalie Jean Lalagos English Writing, Cum Laude. <laughs> Brenna T. Larson, Environmental Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Stephen Robert Larson, Stephen Robert Larson Physics. Sarah Michelle Latshaw, Political Science, Cum Laude. Kristen Marie Lazicki, Psychology. Michelle Lynn Lebrun, Michelle Lynn Lebrun Accounting. Stephen George Laceris, Political Science. <laughs> Olivia Mary Lett, Mathematics, Cum Laude. <laughs> Shashao Lee, Business Administration. Emily Patrice Line, Psychology and French and Francophone Studies, Cum Laude. Adrian Michelle Leip, Adrian Michelle Leip Computer Science. Stephen Ronald Liss. Stephen Ronald Liss, Physics. Blake Ashley Logan, Educational Studies. Alexandria Elizabeth Long, Mathematics. Devin Lynn Long, Economics and French and Francophone Studies. T.J. Luby, Jr., Political Science. <laughs> Courtney Michelle Lunsman, Environmental Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Maxwell, Maxwell James Lustick, Psychology. <laughs> Tracy Louise Luntwin, Political Science. Charles B. Mackey. Charles B. Mackey, Accounting, Cum Laude. Jordan Christopher Raymond Magla Lang, Computer Science. <laughs> Kayla Elizabeth Mahoney, Chemistry. Jake Mann, Economics, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Melissa Lynn Mara. Melissa Lynn Mara, Psychology, Cum Laude. Julia Marie Martino. Julia Marie Martino, Chemistry. Anthony William Massey, International Studies. Mark Edward Mason, Mark Edward Mason Accounting. Caitlin Christine Mathy, Mathematics and Risk Management, Cum Laude. Daniel Lee Maurer, Psychology, Phi Kappa Phi, Summa Cum Laude. Aaron Elizabeth McClellan, Educational Studies. Kathleen McCourtney, Psychology. Mark Evan McDermott, Business Administration. Andrew Jacob McDonald, Biology. Sheila, McGing. Sheila C. McGing, Accounting. Yeah. Courtney Catherine McGinnis, French and Francophone Studies. Caitlin Joanna McHugh, Biology, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Yeah. Caroline Judith McMahon, Educational Studies and French and Francophone Studies. Tristan Joel Meredith, Theater Arts, Cum Laude. Christopher Michael, Miller. Christopher Michael Miller, Political Science, Cum Laude. Daniel Philip Miller, Accounting. George Michael Mitchell, French and Francophone Studies, Cum Laude. Samuel Elliott Mitchell, Political Science and Accounting. Sarah Kathleen Moyer, International Studies in German, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Aaron A. Moore, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude. Alexander Justin Moore. Alexander Justin Moore, Accounting and Political Science, Cum Laude. Aaron, Aaron Olivia Moran, Psychology and International Studies. Yeah. Ricky Lee Rose Mosier, International Studies and Religion. Thomas, Thomas R. Muck, Business Administration. Yeah. Carl E. Mueller, Physics. Yeah. Angela Teresa Muley, English Writing. Brittany Lynn Mullins, Business Administration. Joseph Edward Murphy. Joseph Edward Murphy, Business Administration. 
Amanda Suzanne Murray, Psychology. Carlin Rianne Nesselberger, International Studies. Ryan D. Nielsen, International Studies, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Mary Margaret O'Brien, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Sean R. O'Brien, Psychology, Cum Laude. Cameron Ellis Ollendorf, Business Administration. Dare E. Olighton, Business Administration. Brandon E. Oliver, Accounting and Economics. Justin Nicholas Olson, International Business. Aaron O'Neill, Theater Arts, Cum Laude. Lindsay Oriold, Accounting. Ryan Alexander Ott, Physics. Travis David Otto, Travis David Otto Business Administration. Joshua, Pondian. Joshua J. Pondian, International Business. Michelle M. Pappas, Business Administration and Art, Cum Laude. Samihan Patel. Patel, Theater Arts. <laughs> Nicholas A. Patty, Business Administration. David A. Paya, Business Administration. Kylie Louise Peters. Kylie Louise Peters, English Writing, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Andrea Lynn Peterson, Psychology. Christopher Michael Peterson, Business Administration. Laura Beth Peterson. Laura Beth Peterson, Biology, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Andrew Petro. Andrew J. Petro, Mathematics. Sarah Elizabeth Pierpoint, Educational Studies, Cum Laude. Brian James Piotrowski. Brian James Piotrowski, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Carolyn Renee Pluda. Carolyn Renee Pluda, Psychology, Cum Laude. Jared Colin Pope. Jared Colin Pope, Biology. Nikola Popovich. Nikola Popovich, Economics. Mary Catherine Quinlivan, Business Administration. Robert James Ratchford, Mathematics. Andrew Robert, Ralph. Andrew Robert Ralph, Business Administration and Environmental Studies. Jennifer Margaret Rank, Educational Studies, Cum Laude. Dexter C. Reese, History. Catherine Ann Rehor, International Studies and French and Francophone Studies, Cum Laude. Christopher Rice, Business Administration. Catherine Elizabeth Risden, Psychology. Tristan James Rogers. Tristan James Rogers, Educational Studies, Cum Laude. Derek Roll, Derek Roll Physics. <laughs> Caroline Dennison Roloff, French and Francophone Studies and International Studies, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephanie Lynn Rosenbaugh, Music and English Literature. Erica Christine Rudy, Greek and Roman Studies and Religion. <laughs> Stephen Weston Rudnicki, History. Nicole Ann Solansky, Business Administration and Hispanic Studies. Bryn Gethin Williner Saunders, English Writing, Cum Laude. Tyler Joseph Saunders. Tyler Joseph Saunders, Biology. <laughs> Christopher Lee Schaefer, Political Science, Cum Laude. <laughs> Alyssa Ann Shart, Psychology, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Eugene Frederick Schiller III, Business Administration. Emily Jean Schimmick, Educational Studies, Phi Kappa Phi, Summa Cum Laude. Emily Marcia Schmidt. Emily Marcia Schmidt, Educational Studies. Colin Brady Schofield. Colin Brady Schofield, Psychology and Hispanic Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Daniel Joseph Scouten. Daniel Joseph Scouten, Economics and Business Administration, Cum Laude. Sean Robert Sebring, Sean Robert Sebring Business Administration. Matthew James Seidel. Matthew James Seidel, Music and Philosophy, Cum Laude. Kevin Christopher Seski, Psychology. <laughs> Hani Shah, Accounting. Aditya Raj Shahi, Aditya Raj Shahi Accounting. 
A Annie Elizabeth Sheely, Accounting, Phi Kappa Phi, Summa Cum Laude. Daniela, Daniela J. Shin, Biology. <laughs> Alexander Nicholas Shockey, Psychology. <laughs> Usman Uzaman Siddiqui, Economics. <laughs> Amber Rose Simpkins, Business Administration, Cum Laude. <laughs> Victoria Elizabeth Simmons, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. John Robert Simonelli, Accounting, Cum Laude. <laughs> Emily D. Simpson, Psychology. Corey Andrew, Sloan. Corey Andrew Sloan, Economics and Business Administration, Cum Laude. <laughs> Michael David Sloboda, Business Administration. <laughs> Joshua, Daniel Smart. Joshua Daniel Smart, Business Administration. <laughs> Emily Smith Elder, Theater Arts. Amanda Marie Snell, Psychology. Karen Virginia Solari. Karen Virginia Solari, Accounting, Magna Cum Laude. David Kisoman. Thank you. Thank you. Devi Kisoman, Business Administration. <laughs> Kathy Sony, Psychology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Deborah Marie Spar, Psychology. Gina Lynn, Gina Lynn Spiewak, Psychology, Cum Laude. Hannah Jane Squibb, English Writing. Yeah. Lindsay Ray Starr, Business Administration. Yeah. Nathaniel Robert Stevenson, Mathematics. Allison Louise Stoddard. Allison Louise Stoddard, Psychology, Cum Laude. Yeah. Amanda Michelle Stokey. Amanda Michelle Stokey, Educational Studies, Cum Laude. Yeah. Hillary Ann Stone, Environmental Studies and Political Science. Christopher Adam Stremp, History. Jacqueline Vonda Sullivan, Psychology. Kevin Charles Sullivan, Kevin Charles Sullivan Business Administration. Allison Marie, Marie Sutton, Theater Arts, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Brett, Brett Gabriel Swango. Brett Gabriel Swango, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Joseph Patrick Sweeney, Business Administration. Kevin Sweeney, History. Mary Tackett. Mary Tackett, Educational Studies and Hispanic Studies, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Sevasti Angela Tagaris, Mathematics, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Christopher M. Tapia, Business Administration. <laughs> Jameson Taylor, Business Administration. <laughs> Scott David Tesler, Computer Science. Shavante L. Thomas, Sociology. Tierra Nicole Thomas, International Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Fred Thompson, Accounting. Kamaya Thompson, Theater Arts. Megan Renee Thompson, International Studies, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Alyssa Faye Thumb. Biology Cum Laude. Annalise Tillman. Annalise Tillman, Art and Interdisciplinary uh, Educational Studies Cum Laude. Paul Tkach. Paul Tkach, Computer Science and Music. Catherine Alyssa Trowich. Catherine Alyssa Trowich, Accounting, Phi Kappa Phi, Summa Cum Laude. David Shingling Tsai. David Shingling Tsai, International Business. Stuart Campbell-Turner-Jackson, Stuart Campbell -Turner -Jackson, Psychology. Madeline Christine Tyner, English Writing, Magna Cum Laude. Karen Lynn Unruh, Educational Studies and Sociology, Cum Laude. Purav Pankaj Vagadia, Chemistry, Cum Laude. James Denton Van Rieden, Philosophy, Cum Laude. David Robert Vaughn, History. Jason Villasenor, Biology. Aaron Alyssa Vogel, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Von Vu, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Christina M. Wallen, Religion. David Edward Warren, Political Science. Sam Welch, Psychology and French and Francophone Studies. Brian M. Wellner, Political Science. Scott Thomas Wenzel, Business Administration. Andrew Purcell Workama, Educational Studies. 
Allison R. Whitley, International Studies. David Thomas Whitman. David Thomas Whitman, Business Administration. Michael K. Whittington, Business Administration. Laura Christine Wickman, Accounting Cum Laude. Amanda Williams. Amanda Shea Williams, Theater Arts and English Literature, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Elizabeth Lee Williams, Elizabeth Lee Williams Psychology. Hannah Marie Williams. Hannah Marie Williams, Environmental Studies, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Corey Kentrell Williams, English Writing, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Carly Ann Wilson, Business Administration and Sociology, Cum Laude. Tayo J. Wilson. J. Wilson, Physics, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Benjamin Winterland. Benjamin Elmo Winterland, Business Administration. Catherine Elise Witzel. Catherine Elise Witzel, Educational Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Mallory B. Watka, Psychology, Cum Laude. Nathaniel Wolanick. Nathaniel Edward Wolanick, Physics and Computer Science. Catherine Jordan Woods. Catherine Jordan Woods, International Studies and Educational Studies, Phi Beta Kappa, Magna Cum Laude. Yuji Wu, Accounting and Economics, Magna Cum Laude. Elena Barbara White. Elena Barbara White, Accounting. Jiaxing Shu, Political Science and Accounting, Phi Kappa Phi, Summa Cum Laude. Wen Ya Yang, Accounting, Phi Kappa Phi, Summa Cum Laude. Jeffrey Robert Zanin, Psychology. Sarah Han Zahorik, English Writing. Juliana Zeichman, Psychology, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. David James Zenger, Business Administration. Cheng Zhou, Psychology and Philosophy, Phi Kappa Phi, Phi Beta Kappa, Summa Cum Laude. Woo! Jillian Gale Zierden, Psychology. Jordan and Jordan Douglas Zimmer, Business Administration. In recognition of the completion of the degree requirements, the graduates of the College of Liberal Arts, please move your tassels to the left side of your mortarboards. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Illinois Wesleyan University graduating class of 2012. In a moment, we will rise and sing together Alma Wesleyana. All right, now I'm counting on the senior class. You've had several years to practice this. We have high expectations, but just in case, the words are printed in the program. And then we will adjourn to the tradition of strawberries and scones in the facility just next door. I do want a personal word. I want you to know that it's been a great personal privilege for me to serve as president of Illinois Wesleyan during your time on campus. This class in particular, I have come to appreciate your many special talents and skills, your intellect and your passion, your creativity and your enthusiasm, your spirit and your determination, and yes, your sense of humor. In fact, at a reception at the president's house on Friday evening, uh, we had a, a group over who had made gifts to the senior class gift. 
And at the conclusion, my wife and I were walking through the living room and discovered that one of you had donated a picture to our family collection of pictures. <laughs> now, I'm not going to embarrass someone by calling out their name, but Jenna Guerrero should uh, <laughs> see me after this ceremony. Well, let me conclude this ceremony by saying, I lift my hat to the class of 2012 and offer one final admonition. Search for what is true. Embrace what you find inspiring. Commit to making a difference. Congratulations and good luck. Shall we? 